I have the Xiaomi Redmi 7 right here. And today I'm going to show you how to boot this device into recovery mode. Now it doesn't matter if you are running the stock recovery that comes pre-installed on your Xiaomi Redmi 7 or whether you have gone in and installed TWRP as the custom recovery or if you've installed any other custom recovery it doesn't matter this boot method and boot process will get you into recovery mode again no matter if it's stock recovery or a custom recovery so to do that all we have to do is power down the device I'm just going to wait till it completely shuts down. With that done, we're going to be pressing and holding the power button and the volume up button at the same time. We're going to keep holding these two buttons down. You're going to feel the phone vibrate just like it did right then, right before it gets to that logo. And again, we're continuing to hold these two buttons down. Again, the power and the volume up buttons. And once we see it take us to the recovery main menu, which in this case is Redmi Recovery 3.0, because we are using the stock recovery, then it'll take you to this menu. Again, if you have TWRP installed, then it's going to take you into the TWRP main menu. So from here, we can't touch anything Instead, we have to control this highlighted option with the volume up and down buttons. And then we select a highlighted option by pressing the power button. There's only a couple things we can do here from the stock recovery, which is wipe data, connect with me assistant, and then do a reboot, which can take us back into system, which is Android. So that's how you boot the Xiaomi Redmi 7 into recovery mode. And again, you have to forcibly boot your device into this mode unless there's something else wrong with your device. For some reason, if you have installed a mod or if an over-the-air update is causing your device to boot loop you to recovery mode, then again, just going to reboot and then reboot system will take you back to Android. However, again, if you are coming across a boot loop issue, then unless you can man unless you know what's causing it and can manually fix it, I mean, there's virtually a limitless number of reasons that would cause this to happen, and I just can't help you figure out which one that is. You may need to go into wipe data and do a factory reset to see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then you might need to manually flash the fastboot ROM. There's a number of ways that we can get you back up and running with the stock software that came with your device. However, if you just accidentally find yourself in the recovery mode menu, again, we're just going to make sure the reboot option is highlighted. We're going to press the power button to select it. And then we're just, by default, the reboot to system option is highlighted. So we're not going to touch the volume buttons. We're just going to press the power button to select that option again, since it is already highlighted. And that's going to reboot our device. And as long as we aren't holding any of the buttons, which again, you shouldn't be if you're just wanting to boot into Android, then that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to boot us right into the Android operating system. I know there are times when people have a very tight case that can accidentally press and hold those two buttons during the boot cycle. Or maybe you're just holding the device very firmly in the hand and that accidentally presses and holds those two buttons during the boot cycle. Whatever the case may be, don't be worried if you find yourself booted into recovery mode because it's just a special boot mode and as you can see 
we are easily able to boot back into Android from recovery mode on the Xiaomi Redmi 7.